We now turn to agenda item 3B on page 19, the recommendation of the Leader of the Council concerning the evolution. Does Councillor Lord Bishop do the item? Um, thank you, Mr Mayor. Yes, I've spent quite a lot of time on this in the last few weeks. So, um, <laughs> another um, ten minutes or a little less than that? Five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been a commonly motion, so it'll be five minutes for, so it's about one and a half minutes for every week that we've had um, uh, on this project. Um, or um, it could also be considered about one and a half minutes for every year that we three and other parties have been working on. Thoughts are resulting. I know. I'm expecting any friendship or uh, uh, assistance. So, Mr. Mayor, um, so um, we, we take our position in, in the world pretty seriously in Cambridge, but as Councillor Smart has already um, alluded to, that, that we're, 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 we're an interesting city. I mean, I've described us as a city of considerable magic, but we have all sorts of other features. But one of the things I do want to start with, Mr. Mayor, is that of course we um, want the best deal for Cambridge. We want the best deal for our residents, and for our businesses, for the people who come to work in the city. But we are a partner local authority, and we have particularly developed a partnership with Cambridgeshire. And we recognise, as others in this chamber recognise, that there's an integral link between ourselves and other parts of the county, but also adjacent districts in Bedfordshire, in Hertfordshire, Essex, uh, Suffolk and, and Norfolk. So, um, whilst some might say we are parochial council smart, I would argue that um, both parties on this council have shown that we're not. Um, and it isn't just that we've got uh, aspirations or that our businesses have got amazing opportunities internationally. We are genuinely up for a partnership um, and, and have been working to that end uh, for a long period of time. So, we then come on to a process that has uh, sort of forced us in a way to rush um, and thereby not achieve the kind of results we would want for our uh, partner councils, but also for ourselves. So in front of you, you've got a, a report which has got um, five recommendations on pages 22 and 23. Um, and they essentially say the position that, that, that we've on this side, and I believe um, we've got wider support within the council, um, have adopted. And that is, first of all, that the proposal for this regional mayor, so regional control, stroke regional approach based on three counties, isn't the right approach for this city. Um, and then the second point um, says that uh, we're not walking away, we actually want to be part of a dialogue. Um, the third point um, then talks of the need to continue to consult, but we have been talking to lots of businesses. You heard from John Bridge tonight. We have really valued the partnership we've had with the business networks right across the county. Not just John Bridge, although he's been um, the necessary loud voice of actually calling um, calling um, the government to account for some of the elements within this year. Um, and so we took a position. Some may characterise us as trying to be the deal breakers. We, in many ways, we're not, because we know that in the um, in some places, invidious parts of the cities and local government um, act that's been passed, they can actually ride right across us. It doesn't matter if Cambridge or two or three districts actually reject this deal. The way that the legislation is written, the government can go straight ahead. But that is why we, along with our partners on the County Council and, and your party on the County Council as well, are really the place where the decision is going to to be decided, the, the decision falls. Um, either the deal that is on the table, uh, which is rushed, which has got some good things in it, but it is clearly for us the wrong geography, as well as on weak on a number of points, which Councillor Price will also get stuck into, which is a failure to address affordable housing, particularly the failure of social rent housing, where, where it falls. So you, I have in front of me a letter um, signed effectively by the four leaders on the county council. I hope other people might have it in front of them. I haven't got I'm not sitting at your desk. But that actually more publicly states um, <laughs> thank you, Peter uh, Council Rock. Um, but that more publicly states um, the position um, that was uh, underlying their um, their majority view because they are a majority on the county council. Um, and we do not believe the government can ignore Cambridgeshire. 
This is a three county deal, so how can the government try and roll over uh, Cambridgeshire, particularly because they've tried to do that for three weeks and they've not succeeded. So, so the, the report then documents the process, and yes, um, uh, our, the leader has to make some decisions. Um, uh, we, uh, there are other councils that are sympathetic to our position, some of whom don't feel able publicly to say what their real feelings are. Uh, a couple of Labour councils within the region representing Norwich and Ipswich who share a lot of our opinions on, on, on particular housing and a lot of opinions um, on the governance. So we do not like this deal. We don't think it's the right deal. We think it's a better deal, Mr Mayor. Um, uh, uh, there are issues that might be raised by other councillors about the detail of the deal, which I propose is better if I respond to later. Um, so we put these five recommendations to the council and we seek your support. We would like to have the same unanimity that was demonstrated yesterday, um, where there was a 64 vote um, uh, against the uh, deal being right for Cambridgeshire and one abstention. Um, I noticed that Councillor Shakur is, isn't here, um, <laughs> but perhaps that might be our extension. That would be a, I, I, would, I would regard that as a successful evening. So I urge the Council to support the recommendations, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. I'd like to begin by complimenting the Leader and the Council for having taken the bold measure the bold decision that it took a few weeks ago to say no to this deal. I know what it's like to be put under pressure such that ministers will be telephoning and LGA officials will be pleading. And standing firm under that kind of pressure is not easy. And not only we yesterday at the county took up the same position that the city has. But I have to say, I think it might have been more difficult for us to have taken that position had the city not given the example. So all credit to the leader, to the Labour group, to all of those who support the position that the leader has taken. Um, I'm hopeful that that will include uh, the Liberal Democrats as well. It's interesting that the devolution thing, which is George Osborne's brainchild, <coughs> if you can have a brainchild without a brain, <laughs> it's, 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 it's unraveling. It's unraveling in Gateshead. It's unraveling in Derbyshire. It's unraveling in Durham. And it's un unraveling here in Cambridgeshire. So I think he's got to take it. <laughs> a step back and think more carefully and not see this as some master stroke that he's going to impose upon us but that he's got to take account full account of the wishes and interests of local people now i'm going to just remind you that yesterday the county agreed with the city on all of the major reasons for objecting to this devolution devolution there's not enough funding. The funding which is on offer might be sufficient if all of it came to Cambridge. <coughs> might be sufficient. But we've got local corridor schemes already drawn up in our transport strategies that come to 855 millions just for Cambridge corridor schemes. So the <coughs> idea that you know 900 million will over three counties, a vast territory, do anything to really appreciably improve the infrastructure is just a nonsense. It's ludicrous, ludicrously too little. The next thing we are extremely insistent upon, which has already been mentioned, is that the business community must be on board without the support of the business community. It's almost a requirement of the present proposal that they should be on board. And then again, the fact that the LEP, the Local Enterprise Partnership, refused to go on board is another, another welcome sign because they weren't prepared to swallow this until they were convinced that it was going to be to the advantage 
of business, in whose name this whole enterprise has been conceived. There has been too little consultation, it's been too hurried. People haven't had time to think. I can remember sitting in a group leaders meeting at the county, and we were told, this is the plan, and we've got to sign it tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock. You know, you, you don't do business like that. You don't change the face of government in a region overnight with, that, with those kinds of pressures. Also, the footprint is wrong. And I think I'm going to have to say that I don't think this motion is strong enough <coughs> to assert that the footprint we need and that the county is committed to, and I hope the city will unequivocally commit itself to this evening, I give it the opportunity to do so. The footprint we're committed to is Peterborough and Cambridgeshire. That is the region that makes sense economically. That is the functional economic region. And the reason I want to include Cambridgeshire is because it has the two hottest areas of prosperity in the county, Peterborough and Cape. But it also includes the north of the county, Fenland, which is one of the most disadvantaged regions in the country. And I, although you can't sprinkle like fairy dust, as John Bridges suggested, the benefits of the Cambridge economy throughout the region, the fact is that functionally, we need better connectivity with the Fenland. We need better connectivity between Wisbeach, March, and Cambridge. We need that because we need people to be housed in places like Wisbeach with easy access into Cambridge. If you can get into Cambridge in less than 45 minutes from Wisbeach, on trains running at four times an hour, you are going to transform the economy of Wisbeach and Defence, and you're going to relieve a great deal of the pressure upon this city for affordable housing. There I've almost finished, but the last thing. So I hope that, that I hope we're going to get a clear statement this evening that the footprint that we have in mind is Peterborough and Cambridge. I mean, all this stuff about we want to discuss it. Yes, we do want to discuss it, but that is what I would like to feel that we're committed to. Finally, to the question of the mayor. We were, the Lib Dems yesterday were trying to insist as their bottom line that we would have no elected mayor. I think that is a very dangerous position. An elected mayor for the host, whole of East Anglia doesn't make sense. But an elected mayor for a smaller region which has a functional geography, that is perhaps something we should consider so long as that mayor does not have dictatorial powers, which at the moment they do. The mayor, the mayor that is proposed for the, under the present proposal, he or she will be able to ride roughshod over their own cabinet, their own councils, and their own people. And that is what 